welcome to my new video which is based on factorial notation of Newton's forward operator. Let us start. What is factorial notation? If we write this in the form of, did you remember if we are talking about 2 factorial then what does it mean? It means we leads to reduce in number by 1. That means if we are talking about 3 factorial, it becomes 3, then 2, then 1, up to 1, okay? So, same here, if we are, we are talking about Newton's forward difference operator, let us suppose the product of the form x, x minus 1, x minus 2 and so on, up to x minus r plus 1, then this is written in the form of factorial of x up to r, okay? Because it leads to r term. Okay? r plus 1. Now, if we are talking about factorial notation of x raised to power n, it becomes x. x square leads to x, x minus 1. Same here, x cube. Factorial notation of x cube becomes x, x minus 1, x minus 2, and so on. Okay? Now, let us take an interval of difference as h. So, here we take the difference as 1. Whereas now we are taking a general constant term as h. That means x raised to power r becomes x. x minus h. Now 1 is substituting by h. x minus 2h and so on. x minus x minus 1 into h. Okay. If we are talking about the factorial notation of x raised to power n in the forward difference operator of that term, then it becomes final minus initial. We, are, we have discussed this in our last previous video. So this becomes fx plus h minus fx. When we open this with using this formula, it becomes this. Means, let us talk about the differentiation of x cube. What, is, what it becomes? 3x squared. Same here. If we are talking about the factorial, the forward difference operator of factorial notation of x up to n, it becomes, power comes out and it leads to reduce by 1, okay? Let us take an example. We have to express this term into factorial form, okay? And then we have to show that the forward operate, difference operator of fourth term of fx becomes 0. What it becomes? Here, we express it in factorial notation. What it become? It become x for x cube, x, x minus 1, x minus 2. Now here, it is a constant term, minus 2. So we take an arbitrary constant like b, which for x square, the notation is x, x minus 1. Here, c for x, for x it becomes x only and this is a constant leads to d. Okay. Now compare this general form with our given equation. If we are comparing substitute we have to find out the value of b c d here. Okay. We take b c d for these constant and we have to find out what are b c d respectively. So, for finding out these values put x as 0, x as 1, x as 2. If we are substituting x as 0, what it becomes? For x 0, it leads to 0. For x 0, it also, it also and we get d only. On right side, if we substituting 0 instead of x, we get minus 1. Then, on substituting x as 1, this leads to 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. This becomes C. The value of D is minus 1. This becomes 1 cube. 2, 1 square is also 1, plus 1, minus 1. This leads to minus 1, which becomes minus 1 plus 1, C0. Okay. Now, on substituting x as 2, this leads to 0. This becomes 2. 2 minus 1, 1, 2b, 2c, 
plus d is minus 1. On substituting here, 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square 4 to the 8 plus 2 minus 1. What we get? The value of c is 0. So 2b minus 1 leads to 2 minus 1, that is 1. 2b leads to 2. b becomes 1. Okay? b what becomes? b is 1. On substituting all these values into this form, substitute here, it becomes x, x minus 1, x minus 2, plus b as 1, x, x minus 1, c as 0, this leads to 0, and b is minus 1. Okay? Now, f x in factorial notation, what can we write instead of this? It becomes factorial notation of x up to 3. It becomes factorial notation of x up to 2. And it, it is constant term. Now, we are, this is our f x in factorial notation. But, again we have to show the forward difference operator up to 4 for f x as 0. So, take lambda f x. Newton's forward operator for f x x is to power n becomes this. So, this becomes 3 x square plus 2 leads to before 2 x minus this is constant term. Again, because we have to find out the degree of 4. So, lambda 2 f x becomes 3 to the 6 factorial notation of x plus 2. Again, factorial notation up to 3 terms becomes 6 and now it becomes 0. So, I hope you have, you might understand this topic very clearly and this is what we have to prove. Okay? Hence proved. Now, we are, we are going to define what is the fact? If we have to find out the missing terms, missing terms using factorial notation, we are discussing this topic right now. Okay? So, I hope you understand this topic. Now, we are leading to next our next topic. That is missing terms. Okay? Thank you.